Children's medicines are in high demand right now, with empty shelves being seen at several local drugstores. Walgreens and CVS are limiting how much of those medicines people can buy right now. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibo is live tonight with important information for parents if they're unable to find what they need. Samantha. John, that's right. I was just inside the CVS right behind me, and I can tell you those shelves were empty in the children's medicine section. And, you know, it's not just CVS. It's Walmart. It's Walgreens. It's all these retailers with all these kids getting sick, and they have high demand and low supply. But if you are struggling to find what you need, there's no need to panic. There's plenty of alternatives and things you can do at home to keep your kids safe. All of the Tylenol, the kids' Advil, cough medicine, it was an empty shelf. Palm Desert mom Jessica Montes made a trip to Walgreens hoping to find medicine for her daughter Paige who's come down with a cold. I've been feeling like I have a sore throat and like I've been coughing a lot. I have some congestion like my mom's just trying to keep me safe. Instead of finding children's medication, she was met with empty shelves and a sign citing supply shortages. Montes tells me she's especially worried as we're in the middle of the holiday season. It's very disturbing only because, you know, we all want to ensure our kids are healthy and well, especially during the holidays and then going back into school in the next couple of weeks. It's the same situation at CVS, which is limiting its kids' medications to two per customer. Fortunately, it does not limit the alternatives parents can take. Dr. Chad Versio, who is the Associate Chief of Pediatrics at Loma Linda Children's Hospital, tells me if a child has a fever, it doesn't always warrant for medication. I think the first question is, is the medication actually necessary? And often it's actually not. Even if they don't necessarily have a fever, but their energy level is below normal and they're not eating or drinking, then that's, that's an appropriate time to give Tylenol or ibuprofen. It's also really important for parents to know that the fever is actually often beneficial. It's really not dangerous until likely over 106. Depending on your child's weight and age, he says parents don't have to specifically use children's medication and can opt for smaller doses of regular Advil or Tylenol or any generic ibuprofen or acetaminophen. You should be able to give that 200 milligram tablet, crush it up and then mix it into some yogurt or applesauce. If a kid is over about 20 pounds, then it's probably okay for them to get one of the chewable Tylenol or acetaminophen. However, Dr. Versio does not recommend cutting the medications down yourself. It's probably not a good idea to cut them in half uh, because then, you, you know, are you giving them exactly half of a tablet? You know, that might be a little bit more questionable. Now, if you are unsure, he encourages parents to call your pediatrician or your nurse to get those questions answered, whether it be dosage or anything else you have. Live in Palm Desert, Samantha Mebow, News Channel 3.